The New York football giants and Daniel Jones have agreed to a massive contract extension. Four years, $160 million, and $35 more million available in incentives, which brings them up to $40 million in average annual value. There's a report right now that is $120 million in guaranteed, which pretty much tells you the first three years of the deal are guaranteed. Ryan Dunleavy, shout out to him, who's really had his pulse on the entire story, was the first one to break this story. He was also the first one to break the story that Jones was asking for $45 million. He said it. The Giants have a deal in place with Daniel Jones. Jordan, Jordan Schultz broke this down as well from the score. It says Daniel Jones and the Giants are finalizing a four-year contract extension. Jones guided the G-Men to their first playoff win in 11 years while compiling 22 total touchdowns and only five interceptions. Rappaport with the specifics says it's going to be a four-year deal worth $160 million with $35 million more in upside. They are finalizing it, so it maybe could be if he achieves all of the deals, all the incentives, it would be four years, $195 million for say, uh, Daniel Jones. But speaking of Barkley, this means he's back. The Giants got a deal done with Jones, which means that they are going to be franchise tagging Saquon Barkley. The Giants will tag Saquon Barkley, which is worth $10.1 million. So you got your quarterback back. You got your running back back. We got the band back together because the show must go on. I do want to ask this question and get everybody engaged in the audience right now. Let me know. What is your one-word reaction to the Jones extension? You guys are always very colorful and creative with these remarks. So I want to hear from you. What is your one-word reaction to the Jones extension? This will be the pinned comment. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down. Let me know. By the time you scroll up, we'll be talking ball. Daniel Jones and the Giants have agreed to a four-year, $160 million deal. My one-word reaction is wow. Because this deal literally came at the buzzer. It came at 3.56 with the deadline at 4 p.m. Eastern time. There was four minutes left for Joe Shane, Athletes First, which is Daniel Jones's agency, and Jones to come to a long-term deal. And there was so much more riding than just a contract extension. Because if you had to franchise tag Daniel Jones, that means Saquon Barkley would have been an unrestricted free agent. But that is not possible anymore. Because you got a deal done with Daniel Jones, which is four years, $160 million. Reports are $120 million guaranteed. We will verify once we hear that from a direct source. You're going to be able to keep both. You got your running back back. You got your quarterback back. And let's hope the Giants are back in the playoffs this year. Did Daniel Jones deserve it? Probably so. What he was able to do this year from the pocket was really a really good job, especially with the fact that the Giants allowed some of the most sacks in the NFL. They didn't have elite playmakers. You're looking at guys like Richie James, Isaiah Hodgins, and Darius Slayton. He completed a career-high 67% of his passes. The thing that impresses me the most about Jones is that he has got better and better every year. Look at his rookie year completion percentage. From 61.9 to 62.5 to 64.3, all the way up to 67.2. The yards per game and the yards total were a career high this year, 3,200. 15 touchdowns, his second career high outside of his rookie season when he tossed for 24 tutties. And he only turned the ball over five interceptions. You know how you can see growth in Daniel Jones? Look at the completion percentage. That goes up every year. The interception number, that goes down every single year from 10 to 12 to 7 to 5. But it's so much more that he does than just throw the football. What he's able to do as a runner in this league is really what separates him and really elevates him into being a top quarterback, in my opinion. So I am just seeing this. The Jones deal gets $82 million in guarantees over the first two seasons. That's coming from Tom Pelissero. We are reacting to this live, so I want to get you guys every detail we could possibly get from this deal. Daniel Jones gets $82 million over the first two seasons. It sounds like it's going to be 120 in guarantees, but really the first two years are fully guaranteed at $82 million, which is something that I am really not too upset about. Pelissero was the one that broke the news. Shout out to Tom of NFL Network. It says it right here. $82 million over the first two years. So half of it is going to be guaranteed over the first two years, which really you expect. I mean, four years, you get half of the guarantees done. 
And if he's not the guy, maybe you can make a decision after the first two years about maybe moving on. But we don't want that. We want Jones to be the guy. We want him to work out. Do I? Is this a little bit much? Yes. But I will say this. In two years from now, $40 million of average annual value will not be top 10 because you're going to have guys like Amar Jackson that's going to sign a big deal. You got guys like Justin Herbert. You got guys like Joe Burrow. You got guys like Trevor Lawrence. All those guys are going to get more than Daniel Jones from two years from now. Jones's contract will not even be one of the highest paid in the NFL. But this is why you subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit that sub button. We're getting closer and closer to 25,000 subs here on the channel. We were live for three and a half hours leading up until the NFL franchise tag deadline. No other channel does what we do. Videos every day, breaking news. We inform, we entertain, we like to have fun. If you love the Giants, hit that sub button. Help us get to 25,000 subs. When you look at what Jones did exactly this year, it was the best season of his career. And there was a reason that the Giants got into the playoffs and they were able to really win a playoff game this year. And it was because of Jones. When you go back and you look at the landscape of the season, the Giants were a heavy personnel offense and they ran the ball a lot, more than 50% the first couple of games. And as the season went on, they loosened up the offense, they got more creative, and they began to throw the football. And that's why Jones was able to end up with 3,000 plus yards passing, 15 touchdowns through the air, and only five interceptions. Jones really broke out this year. This was his best year in the NFL by far. And he got better at the things that mattered. He was more efficient. He took care of the football. He was able to use his legs as a weapon. And he had six fourth quarter comebacks and four uh, six game winning drives for the New York football Giants this year. He was incredible, man. He's our quarterback. I'm happy he's back. Comes at a price, no doubt about it. But look, it's cost doing business. Wise man once told me it costs to be the boss. You got to pay some to get something. Scared money, don't make money. Giants aren't scared. Joe Shane believes that Daniel Jones is the guy. All of this also means that Saquon Barkley is back. Because the Giants were able to get a long-term deal done with Daniel Jones, they were able to use their one and only franchise tag on Saquon Barkley, which means Barkley will, at a minimum, be back with the Giants this upcoming year. But it does not mean that the Giants can't get a long-term deal done with Saquon Barkley. You saw the Las Vegas Raiders franchise tag Josh Jacobs yesterday, another top running back in the NFL. The franchise tag is kind of a placeholder. It doesn't allow him to talk to teams in free agency, and the Giants can bring him back at a maximum of $10.1 million if they want to, as long as they don't get a long-term deal done. We're going to continue to break down Jones and Saquon. But first, I want to make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud sponsor of today's show, Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. Get hooked up with them. The link is in the comments and description of today's show. I love Athletic Greens because it makes me a healthier person. I wake up every morning and mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and get my day going. I gave it a try, AG1, because I wanted better gut health and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. AG1 empowers the gut for whole body health, which is something that I need. I start the day with making one great choice, AG1, and more healthy decisions than follow. Covering my nutritional basis for the day literally couldn't be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it every morning. I also absolutely love that it costs less than $3 a day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That link is in the comments and description of today's show. Get hooked up with them. Athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. I love it. You're going to love it. You can thank me later. Click on the link. It's in the comments and description. From Jones to Barkley. I just want to focus on Barkley a little bit here because this is a big day for the New York football Giants. You were able to get your quarterback back on a deal a little bit higher than I would have liked. Because when you look at the recent QB deals, Dak got four for 160. Jones got four for 160. Stafford got four for 160. Carr got four for 150. And Smith, three for 105. But let's circle to Barkley. Barkley deserves it. And he deserves to be back. He joins the list of franchise tags players that include Evan Ingram, Lamar Jackson, Josh Jacobs, Deron Payne, and Tony Pollard. I love Saquon Barkley. I think he's the face of the organization. 
He's a leader. There's a reason he has that C on his chest. When you rush for 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, 4.4 yards per pop, and you also give the team another 57 grabs for 338 yards, you deserve to be back, and he does. And I do hope the Giants are able to iron out a deal that is a long-term deal for Saquon Barkley, and they're going to be able to have that opportunity without letting him hit free agency because with Jones getting that long-term deal done, you were able to franchise tag Barkley, which means he's not allowed to uh, – negotiate with other teams and he's going to be back with big blue for a minimum of one year but i do believe the giants will continue to negotiate with barkley about potentially getting a deal done breaking news of the day the giants re-sign daniel jones and they tag saquon barkley when you now look at the highest paid quarterbacks in the nfl Oh, you got Daniel Jones tied for seventh as one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. You got Rodgers at the top of the list at 50. You got Russ right there behind him. Then you got Mahomes at 45 and Josh Allen at 46. And you got Dak, Stafford, and Jones. I'll tell you this much. I don't believe Daniel Jones, and I could be wrong, has ever beat Dak Prescott in a head-to-head -head matchup. Now that you're getting paid the same money as him, you got to start beating them. You got to start winning games in the division. You didn't beat the Cowboys this year. You didn't beat the Eagles. And you only beat the Washington football team one time. You get paid top 10 quarterback money. You got to play like top 10 quarterback. No more babying Daniel Jones. No more excuses. No more he doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. Because everyone on that list that makes $40 million or more is responsible for elevating their team. And I am now holding Daniel Jones to the expectation of what his contract says he is, which is a top 10 quarterback. No more babying. No more excuses. Not saying there was. Just saying it's time for us to really evaluate what he is. Grade the Daniel Jones contract for me. Four years, $160 million. Just by looking at it, not too much. It looks like it's a three-year deal. Uh, with the fourth year, not guaranteed. I don't know that officially, but just from look what I'm looking at on Twitter right now. Let me know what you think. Grade the deal. A, B, C, D, or F. I do want to make this clear because I don't know if I said this as well. The running back franchise tag is worth $10.1 million. So that's what you're going to be paying Saquon Barkley. If he is back, he would be paid the ninth most in the NFL. You got McCaffrey, number one. Kamara at 15, number two. And you got Zeke at three. Dalvin Cook at four. Derrick Henry at five. Nick Chubb at six. Aaron Jones at seven. Joe Mixon at eight. And the franchise tag for Barkley, which makes him the ninth highest paid in the NFL. And you got James Conner right under him. That's You're good. That's $7 million. Look, you get your guys back. You get the guys that were the driving force to getting you to the playoffs. The driving force to getting you to win a playoff game. For the first time since you last won the Super Bowl and beat Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Let's run it back. I'm happy with this. If you want to, I do want to say this as I see this tweet. If the projected cap numbers are correct, this comes from Bobby Skinner at Talking Giants, another great YouTube channel. Daniel Jones's contract in 2023 would be 17.7% of the cap. 2024 would be 15.6. 2025 would be 13.4. And 2026, will be 12.1 percent it's a lot of money the cap's going to continue to boom so it's wild the giants got this deal done with four minutes to go a buzzer beater from joe shane before we bounce out of here make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel this is going to be joe shane's made some diff difficult decisions probably marrying his wife having kids this is the toughest professional decision he's ever made, and he is going to be judged off it for the rest of his career. Jones succeeds. Shane looks like a genius. Jones struggles. Joe Shane's seat's going to get hot. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. We're on the brink of getting to 25,000 subs. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's go, Giants. Welcome back. Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley.